Hello everyone and a welcome to this video which hopefully will help to explain the way in which we're managing communion when you want to come in person. It's worth reminding you that at the St Roberts at the moment because we have capacity issues we do ask that you book in advance. Details of how to book are on our website and we've sent them out by email so do get in touch and, and try and book your place in advance so you know that we can definitely welcome you to a service. When you do arrive, uh, you'll be met with uh, one of these. We have a, a sanitising station with a sanitizer on it. Do please sanitise your hands before you come in. And then make sure you also have your mask with you. And put that on before you enter the church. As you come into church, you'll notice that there are two metre markings on the floor. Please do try and maintain a two metre distance from the person in front of you if there is a queue. As you come in the door, you'll be welcomed by one of our service managers. Give us a wave up. Hello. Hello there. There Welcome. we go. So if you can stand in the doorway and Anne will take your name, double check your details and then tell you where you're sitting. So where am I sitting this morning? Anne? You're sitting in Pew 10. Pew 10. OK, so you'll be welcomed in to the church. You'll notice that there are one way signs throughout the church to keep us going in the same direction. So. Within the church, you'll see that there are some pew numbers. That's the numbers you need to look for. On the pews themselves, there are some red crosses to note where you need to refrain from sitting so that uh, we maintain that distance. But there's a couple of green men on the pew. You can sit on either one of these if you're an individual or fill out the space in between if you're a bubble. When it comes to receiving communion, again, your service manager hello, hello. <laughs> will invite you to come up for communion in order. Now, if you're sitting in one of these pews on the left, you may have somebody else sat on the same pew with you. If you are sat on the end, would you like to demonstrate this for us? If there was somebody sat at the other end of Anne's pew, what we would ask Anne to do is to step out of the pew and to go backwards two metres to allow the next person to come out from the pew. That way you're in order. Please do come up with your mask on and we're heading up towards the front. Now at this point, the priest will be stood on the chancel step. That's the, as far as you need to go. We won't be going all the way up to the altar rail. On the left, although it's missing at the moment, there will be a sanitizer there. If you could remove your mask at this point, sanitise your hand, and we suggest not putting too much on at this point, and go and receive communion from the priest at the step. When you've received your communion, you exit through the one-way system, which is out through the chapter house. You will need to put your mask back on, follow the one-way system around. The office door won't be open at this point. And you'll find another sanitizer here to re-sanitize your hands having received communion to then return back into your pew. At the end of the service, once again, you will be asked to leave in a particular order just to make sure that things uh, maintain a distance so people will be dismissed from the front of the church. So please do wait until the service manager indicates that it's safe for you to leave. <laughs> 